morning. Welcome to week, what is this, four of the Renovating the Ranch vlog. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? So week four, uh, it is the end of February. Our last average frost date is February 15th and last night because it's an average last night we went down to 29 degrees tonight it's looking around to be around 26 degrees cold now not as cold as you guys in you know northern more more colder zones obviously but when you consider our average temperature this time of year is in the upper 30s low 40s um that's our average low 29 is it's pretty cold. Anyway, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I haven't done a walkthrough of the garden yet to see what got, you know, frost damage because a lot of things are starting to leaf out and there's flower buds on a lot of stuff. And even though, you know, they can make it through a winter, these are deciduous. Some of these plants are deciduous. And so um, they don't generally start, you know, to bloom until they feel like it's safe and, and the day length tells them so. So, Anyway, hopefully I won't sacrifice any, won't have sacrificed any plants, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, also the heater stayed on in the greenhouse last night, which was so good because yesterday I planted hundreds, literally hundreds of seeds. And um, I have citrus in there because it got too cold. So um, this morning when I woke up, the you know greenhouse was going good. And then about an hour later, I looked out there and everything was off and I thought, oh no. So I went out, luckily all it was was a tripped uh, power strip breaker, which is kind of weird. It's probably from the heater uh, because it's having to run so much, which is unusual for it. So um, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on that, especially with tonight it going down to 26. I think that I'm going to um, lower the temperature so it doesn't have to run as much. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So today here at the ranch, I am going to start, I brought my wheelbarrow with me. We got our car back. Yay, yay, yay. So I brought the wheelbarrow and I'm going to start pulling soil off of the terraces and dumping it in the swale area so that we can build that area up and flatten the terrace area. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get help with a bobcat to do that. So I won't have to do all that by hand, but um, it's going to be nice exercise for me today. And it'll actually make me feel like I'm doing something because I haven't done much out here. Um, and you know, time is ticking by. It's almost March. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I will set the camera up and probably do a time lapse of whatever work I get done, be out here for a couple of hours and then head home to do other work there. So let's get started. like a puzzle. <laughs> There's parts that are easy to dig and parts that are impossible to dig and the hardware cloth is rolled over into the hole in a lot of them and so what you're you're just banging on hardware cloth. Um, I think I'm going to move to the next tier up because I think if I remove that one and the boards I'll be able to better access the one right below it so that's next. turkey mating season and I was just working and I heard the tom gobbling. I might run away before we can get too close. See if I can zoom in on him. We have loads of wild turkey around here but it never gets old to me. I just think they're so funny. Such cool birds. It's real hard to see them under that shade there but the tom was just displaying and uh Goblin. <laughs> I was hoping I might be able to catch. 
catch that for you. You know, he's watching that those two hens are, at least I think they're hens. I can't tell if they're hens or jakes. Hey guys. Oh, turkeys. Oh, she's starting to go out in the sunshine a little bit. Like I said, I can't tell if they have a beard on their chest or not. That would determine if they were jakes. Probably not jakes because there is a tom with them and it is mating season, so. Silly birds. So, uh, <laughs> I think I'm done for the day only because I'm tapped out. That's a lot of work. Um, however, I did get three sections done today. So three long pieces of hardware cloth removed today. So that feels pretty good. Um, I know that it will be a whole lot faster with the Bobcat. I just need to arrange to meet with the folks who are offering to help me. So um, they're the guys who are renting the Spice House. Um, so I I still feel like I need to get up as much uh, hardware cloth as possible because that will make the work with the Bobcat easier. But at the same time, the Bobcat could probably scoop that out real easy. I don't know, I don't know. I just can't sit around and not do anything. So I'm, I'm working. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for me for today. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing at home since I started so many seeds yesterday, but eucalyptus seeds did arrive, uh, just a few. So I'm going to start those uh, and see if I'll get anything this year. At least here it's perennial, so that's good. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so it's Saturday and I'm, I just pulled up at the ranch. It is... Um, it's a partly cloudy day today, kind of in very chilly. Um, I think it's like 49 degrees right now. Thankfully, it's not breezy. Um, hopefully, last night was the last night we're going to go down to the 20s. It uh, went down to 29, which is an improvement over 25. <laughs> so, um, because I really need to get the, there's a lot of things in the greenhouse that need to be transplanted. And so um, I'm hoping to get to that tomorrow because I think tonight we're only going down to 32, which is, which is great. So following that, we should be back in our normal lows of the low 40s and um, everything I'm transplanting can totally handle that. So I'm just trying to minimize transplant shock. Anyway, so today I'm actually going to do a couple of things. Um, it's kind of more of the same, but I'm going to move the wood that we're gonna use for building the benches inside the greenhouse because we're gonna be building them in the greenhouse. And then I'm gonna start on a different section of the terraces and literally start moving all of the soil as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to get, because, so I wanna get an idea of, um, you know, kind of what it looks like underneath um, what's on the top. So I sent away soil to do a soil test and they contacted me and let me know that I needed to pay extra because the soil that I sent them was potting medium. So that means everything that I've been pulling out, that means that uh, all the chicken wire and everything that's been holding that soil, that was all filled in with potting medium. I want to get to native soil. I want to know what's there uh, what my plants are going to be encountering when they grow their roots. So yeah, the first couple of inches is going to be compost, but after that, it's going to be native soil. So I want to take off as much as I can of um, this hillside here with a shovel, um, kind of digging forward into the hillside so that I can get down to some native soil and I can do a soil test on that. Um, that's, that's really the important data I need to know. Um, I don't care about what the potting medium was because, you know, 
all of that doesn't matter. It's what the native stuff is. Anyway, so that's going to be my goal today. And I'll just keep digging until I'm too tired to dig anymore. <laughs> and then I'm going to head home and I'll be trying for the first time to make a vinegar extraction of eggshells for calcium. And I'm going to do a separate video on that so you guys can uh, learn what I'm learning. I am I am dipping my toe in, actually I'm jumping in whole hog, I'll be honest, to regenerative farming practices, learning a lot. I'm reading nonstop. I'm in an online class now. Um, and this morning we were talking about making vinegar extracts. And so that is what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. So I've been saving my eggshells. Uh, anyway, so that's, that's that. So let's get to it. Okay, so that's the wood relocated, the cardboard packed into the greenhouse. I brought more cardboard and the wheelbarrow emptied. So now I'm starting fresh on a new section. This one here in the very front of the um, tiers. I'm gonna just start removing it with the idea that the surface here if we can excavate straight back, there will it'll still be higher than over here, but I can put in a retaining wall over here. But I want to act like this is the surface of the new bed and take everything all the way back. Now, obviously, that's going to include using earth moving equipment, not just me and my shovel. So I'm going to start. taking a bit of a break. Ooh, that is such hard work. It's a, uh, it's satisfying though. Um, so I, I don't know if you do this, but when I'm doing a job like this, that's like tedious, um, kind of repetitive. Um, sometimes I do this when I'm working out <laughs> or running. Uh, I, you know, you make deals with yourself like Okay, just until this point, or, you know, in this case, I was like, I'm going to go until my watch tells me that I have 10,000 steps. I don't know if I'll be able to make it that far, because right now I'm at 4,700. But you never know. Um, I'll just keep going until I just can't take it anymore. But... You know, the, the soil is, except for inside of the cages, where it's clearly old potting mix and lots of rocks. I think it was mixed with, you know, because when you buy compost and have it delivered in, lar in bulk, it's really expensive. Um, like, the high quality compost I get is $36 a cubic yard. So, at my home farm, we needed 10 cubic yards. That's a lot of money, right? So a lot of times people will get topsoil, put that on the bottom, and then just a couple inches of compost because the topsoil is usually cheaper. Um, so I'm also thinking that because the road is right there, that these berms um, were road debris from when they made the road. So there's a lot of gravel and um you know big chunks of rocks and i keep finding rebar and things like that actually i'm saving the rebar because i can totally reuse that when i put in this there's gonna be one retaining wall so i'll have a path along the greenhouse and then there'll be a retaining wall and then the rest will be flat that is my my vision um so it's going to be interesting to see once i get this cage out 
Um, behind that is just whatever soil was dumped here or, you know, whatever. So it'll be interesting to see exactly the composition of that. And I'll also be able to get further down, you know, uh, more level with what the driveway is here. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what that soil composition is going to be. The native composition around here is clay, mostly clay. Um, in some places it's just solid clay, uh, which makes, oh uh, man, there's so much, so much chemistry that I could go into about that, but um, that's for another time. Um, clay can be good, but not too much clay. But yeah, so I, that's why I want to know for sure what the native soil is here is when I when I level this area it'll definitely be native soil because there's no way they put three three or four feet of compost uh, or even topsoil on top of this so um, yeah we'll just have to see how it goes I'm going to finish my orange and have some water and then get back to it <laughs> That's gonna do it for me today. I'm wiped out and I'm hungry. Um, it's I've been here for about two hours, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, so I'm gonna go home. There's some beans and rice waiting for me that I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up now because um, tomorrow I'm gonna be transplanting um, at the home farm all day. So I won't be out here. Um, so then I'll wait till Monday and I'll just start a new one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.